and now the snare reverser. Tom reverser. Hello everyone, Dom here and today I'm really, really excited to share with you my new instrument for Halion Sonic SC. And wait for it, for a limited time I'm going to make it completely free for all of you. Yes, that's right, completely free so you can download it and enjoy it. And you can use it no matter what DAW you're using. I'm really excited to share this with you guys right after this. And here it is. The instrument is called Modern 80s Drum Kit. I think the title is very self-explanatory. Now, let me give you a little bit of background how I created this instrument and why I decided to create it. For the past two years, I've been producing so much 80s music, synthwave tracks, all these genres, you know, there was a boom in this kind of music and I had so many clients, you know, so many productions. I think I've produced over a hundred synthwave, 80s inspired tracks over the past two years. As you can probably tell, I had a need for good drum sounds and I needed to have some drum kits ready to go. And some of the sounds that I kept using over and over again, I realized, well, I'm using these sounds all the time, so why not make a Halion Sonic SC instrument and have all the controls that I need for these, all the usual suspects, you know, gated reverbs, punch, 80s compression for my snares, all these things. Why don't I create an instrument so that I have them ready to go, so I don't have to hunt every time or do sound design every time. So what I did was I sampled several drum machines and you can expect the usual suspects, you know, like the lean drums, but it's not only that. I wanted this drum kit to have a more modern vibe to it. So apart from the effects that I'm going to show you in a second, I also sampled some really old school, but a little bit more recent drum machines as well from the 90s like some old school Yamahas and stuff like this and then I did all the sound design, all the layering, all the clever bits in Backbone which is my favorite drum layering machine. It's amazing and then I created the instrument inside Halion 6 which is massively powerful. You can do whatever you want, basically. If you haven't checked out Hylion 6, I highly suggest you check it out. Sky's the limit with this instrument, but that's how I created the instrument and I'm going to play it for you right now. Toms and these are all layered, you know, some of the samples have like four or five layers of different drum machines, okay? So let's try the hi-hats. And I also have a nice clover here. So let me show you what you can do with this. Now for this one, sometimes I use it as a single instrument, especially when I'm layering with acoustic drum kits. It works very, very nicely, even for rock and metal. Actually, this, this sounds, okay? And I think that somebody asked me about this snare on one of my previous videos. But anyway, we have a very handy mixer here. So for example, if my, my toms are a little bit loud, I can, just turn them down, or maybe I want to turn down the hats a little bit. So I tried to make it easy for you. These are simple controls, they're not something magical, but I think they help. Now the next thing I wanted to do was add my sauces, and these are several processors that I use to treat my 80s style drums. And for example, here's the kick drum without the sauce. If I add the sauce, you click on this icon here, See the low end? Check it out. Without. With. And then I can add some thump. And maybe a little bit of definition as well. 
and you can choose how much. But without it, it sounds more like a traditional drum machine. With it, it makes it a tiny bit more modern, okay? The same goes for the snare. The snare has quite a bit of treatment. And there are two snares, actually. So let's add the snare sauce. <laughs> Hear that? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what I want to get when I add my processing. I want to get hit in the face. You know, I want to be like, whoa, like that, you know? So that's what the snare sauce does. It adds some punch. You can add more if you want to. Or you can take away a little bit of the in-your-face sound if you just want the tail. And then you can make your snare tight or longer, okay? So maybe I want to turn the tightness down. So now it becomes really tight. Or... Or really, really long, okay? So these are the two sources for the kick and the snare. These are the most important elements. Now let's move on to these guys right here. These are the common controls and these allow you to sculpt your drum kit even more. So very quickly, let me put together a beat designer pattern so that I can show you all these controls in real time. Okay, let's hit play. And now let me show you the bus compressor, right? So this adds a very typical 80s bus compression that I use all the time. It can make the sound really huge, really punchy. Have a listen. Then we have the bus punch. This can add quite a bit of punch to your sound. It does what it says on the tin, okay? So let's try it. Or, again, you can soften the sound. Now, let's add the bus room, okay? This will add a little bit of reverb, but you can go completely over the top with it. I add just a tiny bit, like one or two, you know? Then everything else is for effect. And these are reverbs that I designed specifically for this 80s kind of sound, okay? Last, we have the final source, and this will basically bring all the elements together. It adds a little bit of compression, a little bit of limiting, so that you get a more coherent sound in the end. Let's have a listen. Now, you can hear that we have a clap here. Now this clap, you can make it wider if you want to. You can create this kind of clap effect that pops out of the speakers. Let me show you. You can just turn it up. See? Without it. So it can make it very, very wide. I find this a very useful trick. I do it all the time. Let's listen. Now, the next control is the hats animation. And this adds a little bit of a kind of spacey effect to your hi-hats so that they don't sound so repetitive. Let's try it out. And with all of these sources, a little bit goes a long way. So unless you want to create a very, very powerful effect, I would add just a tiny bit of it, just a little bit. Now for the toms, we have two controls. I have the tape warmth, 
that adds a little bit of tape saturation and the bigness that adds quite a bit of low end thump to the toms if you need it okay so again use this wisely now i had to make some hard decisions when i was creating this instrument i've been working as a sound designer for a while for several companies i've done presets i've done original sounds but designing an instrument is a completely different story so i had to make some hard decisions and one of them was the interface i wanted an interface to be nice and big clean so that you can see everything and you don't have to hunt for the controls and all these things now the interface, like I said, is big, so the first thing that I'm going to tell you, before I show you how to install and everything like this, I'm going to tell you that if you have a smaller screen, you might want to take advantage of this icon right here, that basically makes your interface a little bit more condensed, and then you can even say, okay, I want to show my keyboard, or I want to auto-configure my instrument. So that's the first thing, if for your screen the interface is a little bit big, just do that, I wanted it to be big. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, but I'm using a 4K monitor here. This is the initial preset, and if I go load, you will see that I have three presets there. And maybe I'm going to add more, so make sure you subscribe to my mailing list when you go and download this, because if I have an update, I'm going to let you know by email so that you can download it. Otherwise, you're gonna miss it. There's no way for me to tell you. So, free presets, but the reason I have free presets is because I want you to actually tailor the kit the way you want to. Now, let's keep going. I want to show you now the space controls that we have here. And these are really important for that 80s kind of sound, for this kind of synth wave kind of sound. So, kick drum. Okay, let me turn off the reverb for a second. Okay, this is the original sample that I've sound designed. But then, if you want to make it a little bit wider, I have some tricks up my sleeve. So once you turn this up, you don't need to worry about what it is, it will do it for you. Check it out. So it adds a tiny bit of like room reverb, but it's tailored so that it doesn't clash with your kick drum frequencies. But in the mix, it will make this sound very stereo and very wide. So your kick drum will sound wide, but you won't know what it is. Again, don't add too much. You know, add a tiny bit of it if you want to get that kind of effect. Or if you want to add it as a layer, just duplicate the channel and you're good to go. So, that's fine. Now let's go to the snare 80s reverb. Now, this is again what it says on the tin. It's this 80s kind of sound, you know, the gated snare reverb kind of sound, but with a twist because I want it to sound a little bit more modern, okay? So let's listen to it. And the more you turn it up, the more reverb you'll get, but also a bit more tail. Check it out. So that's what I would normally use most of the times, like up to seven, but then... If I wanted it longer... You know, I can go a little bit more. Now, one thing that you should know is that there's always a gate on in this case. So, if I play very softly on my keys you might not hear any sound. That's because the gate catches those really quiet notes. And for this kind of music, you don't really need those because it's a one hit sample. But in case you want to turn off your gate, okay, you can just click on this button and you can let it ring. Okay, but this I have it as an option usually I wouldn't turn it off. So that's why you have to click on it to get rid of the gate. By default, the gate is on, okay? Because we're in the 80s, we're in synthwave territory. Now, let's see what else we have. I have the Tom's Reverb. And this is something that I love about, you know, these old drum machines and the way they were mixing back in the 80s and the early 90s. They used to have this kind of non-linear reverb and that's what this is. Check it out. Recognize the sound? It makes the tom sound super larger than life and also super wide. So, now what else do we have? I have some uh, echoes for the claps. So just add a little bit of groove to your drums. Then I have a clava shimmer. 
And I love that, that's very beautiful. And then I have some really cool things that you can do here. I have the snare reverser, check what this does. And the tom reverser. Again, this, I would punch them in. You know, I would automate those. So let me go on and I'm going to use these controls here, okay? Let's start with the 80s compressed sauce. So it's a lot of fun. It's something that I've been working on for a while. It's something that I've been using for a while. But like I said, I decided to create an instrument with these sounds. Now let me show you the different presets that we have here. We have the initial one that sounds like this. And see what a difference the effects make to the sound. These were not random effects. These effects I've tailored for a while to get the right settings, get the right chain, get the right processing so that you don't have to do all this hard work yourself and I don't have to do it when I'm producing, right? Because I also have to do it every single time. Let's listen to the initial and let's move on to the processed. Huge. And I made sure that for the presets, you won't overload your master bus, okay? So they're safe. Let me show you how you can install this instrument. It's actually so simple. It's literally a double click, okay? So when you go and pick it up for free, right now, I'm going to, honestly, guys, I'm going to try and keep it for free for as long as possible. You will get a VST sound file. So all you need to do for this is double click on it, and then the Steinberg Library Manager will pop up. As you can see now it says no action was performed, the corresponding VST sounds are already registered, which is normal because I have already registered the library. But in your case, you will click OK, you can set it into a specific location if you wish so, and then it will show up right here in the library manager. There you go, see? Modern 80s kit by Dom Segalas. There you go. Once you do this, that's it, that's installation. Simple. The next thing you can do is obviously load the instrument. And there are two ways to do this inside Cubase. If you're using Cubase, you can go to the media tab on the right zone and go to Vista Instruments. And here you need to find Hylian Sonic SC, which is the free player. Now here you can find all the libraries that you have installed on your system, but you will also find Modern 80s Kit. So all you need to do is drag it, click on it, and then just double click on a preset or drag and drop it into your Cubase project. Now the other way is just opening your Hylian Sonic SC, going to load, and right here where you have all your libraries, you will find it right there as well. You click on it and then you have the presets as well. I would suggest that you go for the initial preset. The other two are just so that you can see what you can do with the processing that I have right there. So there you go guys, this is my new instrument for Hylian Sonic SC. Like I said, it's free for all of you to download. I'm going to have a link down below. You don't have to pay a dime for this. You can install it and use it in any DAW. And of course, Hylian Sonic SC is free. So again, you don't have to spend any money there either. And at this point, the only thing I can say is have fun, enjoy the instrument. I really wanted to thank you guys for following me for a while. It's been quite a journey and I really want to give something back to you. I really love you all and I really appreciate all the love that you give me in the comments, on emails, on Instagram, everywhere. Now the only thing that I might ask you in return is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon and also, also very important, follow me on Instagram because I'm planning to upload and do more stuff there. So maybe I'm going to have a series to show you quick tips on how to use instruments like this and this could be in bite size, you know, like Instagram stories. So make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have loads of fun with the modern 80s kit. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Let me know how you like it and the one thing that I would really like you 
you to show me is any music that you create with it. This would make me really, really happy. It would really make this all worthwhile. Feel free to share this on Facebook, on Instagram. Let's make sure that everyone gets a free copy of this. Until next time, have fun guys, and I'll see you soon.